Hello, this is Professor Grant Thrall. Sometimes less data is better. If you don't need the data, why carry the data in your GIS? We're looking at the map of the uh, boundary of the state of Florida. Uh, I don't have Miami-Dade. I don't have Pensacola. Uh, I'm only interested in Alachua uh, counties. And we'll zoom in on Alachua County. And here we have all these nice polygons for the parcel polygon file, but I, I don't really need the parcel polygons. I only need a centroid of, of each parcel polygon. A centroid is calculated by drawing a rectangle uh, around the polygon and then connecting opposite uh, apices, opposite corners and where the line with straight lines and where the lines intersect becomes the centroid. That's one measure of the centroid. The problem is with that, and just a note, is that uh, ask yourself where is the centroid of the state of Florida? The centroid of the state of Florida, if we put a rectangle around that map that we first looked at, is off the coast of Tampa, off the coast of southwest Florida. So, so centroids may or may not be applicable in all situations, but for property it generally is. Properties are generally fairly compact and, and regular shape, especially when we're dealing with housing properties. Here I have this map full of these polygons, and let's see how long it takes just to refresh this map. Now I have a very speedy state-of-the-art for the era computer and it's getting there and that's pretty fast that is pretty fast I have over a hundred thousand polygons I'm going to export this data layer tools export as centroid points and we can say I've already done that so I will just overwrite my previous file so I'm drawing my 100,000 roughly polygons. And then there's my points. Let's, uh, let's compare. Here is my draw with the polygons, which we just witnessed. And here is the draw with just points. So your analysis can be sped up, and do we really need the accuracy uh, or the beauty of the uh, parcel polygons if what I'm going to do is, say, uh, do a, an overlay, which is, let's say I want to find out what the average sales price is of houses that sold in the last three months within five-mile drive distance from some particular location. Uh, I don't really need the polygons for that. The points are just fine. Operations will speed up. Uh, I will zoom in on some place randomly within Alachua County. So those are my points. And now I'll add the polygons back in. And we see that for every polygon, beautiful little polygons here, we have a nicely positioned point inside each one of these polygons. That is really nice. So that's how you create a, a point data layer from a polygon data layer using Maplitude and it really comes in handy.